Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Player Review. Let's take a look at one of the new League SBC reward players. His name is Omar Al Soma. Now, this is of course the reward for completing the Saudi League SBC. He's a six foot four striker. 85 rated with 82 pace and passing, as well as 84 dribbling, 89 shooting, and 87 physical. Four star skills and weak foot, high low work rates. You can't really go wrong. So, I've got a couple of different squad options for you today. The first one, he plays in a two striker formation alongside my 86 rated man of the match, Hyung Min Sun. A really nice squad there. But I actually played him as a lone striker in this 4 3 3 fourth variant hybrid side. It features players from the Saudi League, of course, the Spanish La Liga, the Italian Serie A, the Bundesliga, and we've got a legend in there as well. And it was a very nice team where Al Soma definitely stood out. So, moving on into his in-game stats. I mean, they're quite mad. They're, pr they're pretty insane, I'm not going to lie. Uh, he started off as a 78-rated player, and this is his third special item, as he has two informs in the past. So, the in-game stats are pretty impressive. I went down the route of using the engine chemistry style today, because, if anything, I wanted to boost his pace and dribbling slightly, as, as much as I could. Um, but as well, the engine chem style gives that all-important boost in agility and balance, which, as you know, I harp on about every single time. So moving on into the clips, we can talk about the pros and cons of the player. Do I like him? Don't I like him? What do I like about him? And what don't I like about him? Well, we can start with the negatives, and there are only a, a couple, really. You'll see from the in-game stats that even with the engine chemistry style, we boosted the agility and balance into very, very high figures. Late 80s, early 90s. And all I'll say is that, in my opinion, I don't really think Al Sommer feels particularly agile. You know, he's not an absolute shed, but he I think because he is so tall and stuff, that you're never going to feel like um, you're going to be able to weave in and out of defenders really, really easily, like someone who's a lot shorter with a better center of gravity. It's not particularly a bad stat, uh, or a couple of stats, but... There's been times where I thought, oh, this, this feels a, a little bit clunkier than I was expecting. So not really a huge negative, but something to bear in mind. Uh, and then probably what I would su suggest is like the, the major issue with Al Sommer is that obviously he plays in the Saudi league. And the players in that league aren't really on, on his level in terms of rating and stuff in this game. So it's quite difficult to link him up to other good players on this game. I managed to do it in the squad that I used, uh, but we were, of course, using a couple of low-rated players in the team for chemistry reasons, and the rest of the players around him were great. Um, but yeah, he's he's a difficult player to fit into different squads, uh, but he might be a good option for a super sub, of course. Now, moving on to the positives, there are a lot more of them than negatives, because... Once again, he, he's a beast. I love Al Sommer on FIFA. He's such a great player. Obviously, the first thing you notice is that he is this ridiculous physical presence. You know, he has great aerial ability. He is going to be a fantastic target man. Six foot four, and he's nice and strong as well. So, you know, you're going to hold off the defenders easily. And he does do that fantastically well. His acceleration also impressed me. Might be partly to do with the chemistry style that I used. Um, but his acceleration is a lot better than his overall sprint speed. He, for, for such a big guy, he does get off the mark quite quickly. Which, as I said, I was pretty impressed with. Next up, his ball control. You know, his first touch is great. His dribbling with the ball is very good as well. As I said, just a couple of times that I noticed that I thought, oh, I, I wish he would be a little bit more agile when I'm trying to weave in and out of the defenders. But a lot of the time, he was pretty solid at it. And he's so strong that even when defenders try and tackle you, uh, he, he manages to hold them off, I would say, 80-90% of the time. I'm also like liking Al Sommer's stamina at this point in the game. Being his third special card, you would expect that stat to go up quite a bit. And he did seem to last right until the end of the game. I imagine he might tire into extra time. 
Um, but most of the time, your matches will only go to 90 minutes, and he was fine there. And then my final positive is all about his shooting. He's got a hell of a lot of shot power, and he really can fire that ball into the back of the net. Inside the box, outside the box, long shots, little tap-ins from, you know, two yards out. He can do it all. He's very versatile, and... I think a fantastic League SBC reward. Definitely recommend him. Let me know if you have decided to get him and what you think of him down below in that comment section. Uh, so yeah, a very positive and stellar review for Al Soma, a solid player on the game. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.